morning everybody welcome to season random stuff today i am back out here on beautiful lake sonoma going under the bridge right now it's a beautiful morning really smoky in here must be a wildfire somewhere in the area up here in northern california because uh, it is really smoky um you can really like taste it you can you can uh, you can smell it um, but anyways, just out here having fun today. I haven't been on the lake in a couple of months. Um, so we'll see what's happening. I'll throw some top water and throw a bunch of different baits. Just kind of out here to have fun and relax. I've got a day off work. So let's get out there and uh, see what we can put together. And stay tuned. Uh, get you a good report. Uh, air temperature this morning is about 55 to 57. Uh, water temperature at the dock was about 67 to 68. So, pretty warm water. Um, we'll see what it is heading over to Warm Spring side and uh, we'll see what it looks like over there. So, stay tuned. More to come. Talk to you soon. All right, switch real quick to a Poppin' Frogs Pro. Poppin' Frog. Got some open water here, so the popper might be better. want a subsurface I like this glide bait folks this morning bite was kind of a bust kind of disappointing um, just for I was at 7 30 right now started probably left for six um, no top water action whatsoever no not a blow up or anything that was kind of disappointing through some subsurface baits um, swim baits uh, jerk bait um, the, the glide bait and a few other things, nothing there. Tried a um, high tech. Uh, I did throw a jig for a few minutes and got bit on a jig. So that promised thing, this fish will probably just sit on the bottom. <clears throat> so I'm gonna make a move, head up uh, Warm Springs a little bit and uh, try a point that I like fishing and uh, see if I can get something on uh, on a jig. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, water temperature right about 70 degrees. Uh, I'm right here behind the big island. Uh, on more spring side so uh, more to come got a full day ahead of me so stick around talk to you soon all right all right come here come here all right as i was just saying we had to just slow down and throw the jig and there it is. Didn't take long. Nice little smallie. 
like Sonoma Special. Got that on the uh, sprayed grass color, Mr. B football head with a Yamamoto twin tail grub on there. Let's see if we can get another one. I got another nice big one on here. Don't want to come up. Come here. Come here. Sorry for the butt shot, but. All right, so just fishing that point, I caught that fish on a jig, had some other bites. So I knew there was fish in here. Kind of came back across this area with a shaky head. Get this hook. Boy, he's really in there. There we go. With a shaky head and a biospawn worm and red crawler. Nice little chunky largemouth there. So like I say, if you're getting bit on the spot, Come back with a different bait and uh, give it another try. Little on the water tip for you here with this, uh, with these shaky heads. This is a uh, shaky head. It's got a, it's got a barb on it here. Let's try and pull this down. See that barb on there. So instead of going through the center of the of the bait, going at an angle. That way, when you push that bait up on that barb, it sits straight like this, and it's not gonna go down the shank and then curve up. You want that bait kind of, you see, kind of like that at an angle. And that way, when you expose it, you can push that bait in there. It's gonna sit nice and straight for you. It's not gonna be running down the shank of the hook. So a little on the water tip for you as far as rigging your shaky head worm. Now, if you're using a screw lock, type of um, shaky head uh, just go right through the nose on that but um, this one just has the barb on there for the keeper a little stand-up head works really well so let's try it again A good chunky one. He's up shallow right on the ledge. Them. Oh, there we go. That's a chunky one. Right in the corner of the mouth with the shaky head again. He's two, two and a half pounds. Nice one. Oh. Just missed the bite. Just picked that up, started moving away with it. 
Never got a good hook set in them. But they're up there shallow on the on the drop. There's a little ledge on this point. There's a little ledge that drops off on this side. Those fish are right on that ledge. They're biting it, they just ain't eating it. I just gotta let them, let them eat it. I think my worm is just getting worn out here on the tip, so. Let me show you how I rigged that again. Let me trim up, cut off the nose of this bait. All right, so I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of the nose because it's torn. All right, so with these worms, big long worm, and you see the shaky head again. See, I just got that barb on the backside. So I want to go through kind of from the front corner of the bait, kind of down at an angle, come out the top side, and then when you slide that up, you want to spin it around, push that up on the barb. All right, there you go. So then when you hook that bait, hook that in there, oops, kind of expose it. There you go. Nice straight worm. Bio spawn, plasma tail. can't see it. Alright, I think I might do is give this spot a rest. Maybe come back to it later. Go up and fish by the campgrounds. Let's see what we can figure out. So they're definitely on the bottom. This fish were fairly shallow. So maybe switch over to the uh, purple sculpting jig later on and give that a try. There's definitely fish here. All right, folks, been a little slow. Finally got one on the Mr. B purple sculpting jig. Nice little largemouth. Just up probably past the campgrounds there in Buck Pasture area. Nothing on that side. Came over to the other side and got this nice large mouth. Let it go. It's still kind of fat in that belly. Not red at all in the belly, but a uh, nice healthy fish. I'm getting some bites along the banks. Um, with the shaky head, I broke off the one shaky head and switched to uh, a different color, like the uh, sprayed grass color. Had some bites, but no hookups on that. Um, try the other jig. Uh, the green jig that I was throwing, nothing. So I switched over to the purple sculpin. 
<clears throat> really great color for Lake Sonoma, especially this time of year when the water is clear. Um, I just caught that fish. So um, not going any farther than, you know, past the campgrounds. I'm going to work my way back up a little bit and probably try to run a few other spots. Um, yeah, a little slow. The fish are down on the bottom. I'm um, getting bites, like I said, but they're just not eating it. So I'm, I've caught a couple little dinks um, on the jig as well as um, the shaky head and just trying some different stuff, trying to get a get a bite going on. Um, so we'll, we'll keep at it and get you updated. It's only 10-15, uh, so plenty of day left. Talk to you later. All right, folks, here's like Sonoma's launch, probably three, three and a half pounds. Nice, nice fish here. Just caught it on the good old Sanshuo. Picked it up, watermelon red. And bam, that baby choked on that bad boy. All right, folks, about to ready to wrap it up for the day. Not a bad day overall. <clears throat> Caught quite a few fish, probably 15 to 20 or so. Um, best five, I don't know, I'd guess maybe 13 pounds or something like that. But um, kind of a slow bite <clears throat> in a sense. Um, got most of my fish on Texas rigs. Um, this is what I've been kind of fishing up with, Texas rig with a uh, flapping hog. Um, this one's kind of been chewed up a bit. Um, caught a bunch on the Shanshuos. Um, this is kind of what it looks like now. <clears throat> These ones, um, this is what they look like out of the package. And this is what they look like after they've been sitting in the sun for a while and they kind of fade out, turn almost green pumpkin, kind of a gold color. Down to my last one of these, so hopefully I got some more at home. They've been working really well. <clears throat> caught a lot, of, um, caught a few fish on the um, jig this morning on the uh, sprayed grass color, Mr. B football head jig. <clears throat> and then I switched over to the uh, <clears throat> the sculpin color and caught like three or four on that and um, tried the shaky head. I caught a few on the shaky head this morning. And then um, that bite kind of died off. I tried a few different worms, but couldn't get any more bites on the shaky head. So I just went back to the Texas rig and started getting more bites. Um, I missed a lot of fish. Um, I lost several fish as well. So that was kind of frustrating. I was using this, um, this, this different hook. You can see that there. And I think I hadn't used these hooks in a long time. I've had them in my box, but um, I, th I think these hooks suck. So, um, I'll probably throw these out. I think part of my problem with missing a lot of fish today was was this hook. The bait would get all jammed up down around the around the hook tip, and it wasn't getting any penetration in the fish. So <clears throat> I thought I'd give them a try one more time, but um, I think those are going on the garbage. Switch to a uh, EWG hook. Most of my most of my Texas rigs, I'm doing a uh, uh, four aught EWG. Um, just a small quarter ounce tungsten weight and a bobber stop. I'm using a red bobber stop today Getting low on the black so I need to restock on those as well, but um, Like I said, not a bad day overall um, This morning the fish were kind of up, up shallow on the points and then as the day progressed uh, I was just kind of going down steep banks and uh, Fishing down banks dragging 12 to 20 feet or so and catching most of my fish just dragging the Texas rig um, as the day progressed and the Sun got up high the boat traffic picked up. I think those fish kind of started migrating into the lay down trees and uh, the bushes. And um, so I started flipping some of those trees and uh, got a few fish doing that as well. So um, hopefully that information helps you. I'll get this video up probably hopefully tonight. So you'll have it for the weekend. Um, I'm gonna fish down this last bank and call it a day. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe as always. Appreciate you watching, appreciate you tuning in. And um, that's it for Lake Sonoma. Um, we'll catch you next time.
Big Smalley. Oh. Good way to end the day. Nice smallmouth on the Texas rig. Went to the EWG hook and landed that fish. That baby was hot. Look at that backbone. It's kind of kind of dipped on there. Kind of weird. Nice two pound chunky smallmouth. Good way to end the day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.